Hello, everyone. Welcome. Good to have you here. Um, for some people, it's good evening. For other people, it's good day. Um, so welcome to this webinar of the European Project Milton Um It is fantastic to have so many participants here tonight um, that are eager to learn more about successful strategies um, and practices of inclusive education and curriculum development within the context of higher education. My name is Josephine van Marlen. I am Program Manager at ECHO uh, Center, uh, Center for Diversity Policy in the Netherlands. Uh, and ECHO is an independent not-for-profit organization that develops uh, programs and provides various services um, and training to both national and international, uh, public and private organizations regarding issues of diversity and inclusion. We work within the context of higher education and the transition to the labor market. Uh, and I will be your host for the coming one to one and a half hour uh, in this multi webinar uh, with the title From Theory to Practice, Inclusive Education and Curriculum Development. Um, so multi uh, stands for Multiplying Evidence-Based uh, Strategies for Inclusion. And we are one of uh, seven partners in this project. This means that for the last one and a half year, we have actually been working together with six other organizations in um, in Europe, and we have detected and analyzed 70 um, inclusion ideas and proven practices in education that have the potential to inspire a learning community um, and thereby also support educational uh, organizations in de deploying um, strategies to create inclusive environments. But also to learn more about how these practices can easily be multiplied with small investments. So that's basically the core of um, the multi include project. All partners have chosen some of these 70 cases in total uh, to highlight uh, in the webinar series. Um, every partner hosts one webinar, and this is actually the second one. So I really want to welcome you um, it, at this time. So out of those seven uh, webinars in total. The first one actually took place uh, last March and was hosted by one of our partners, the ESHA Foundation that is stationed in, the, in Hungary. Um, if you want to know more, if you want to you know, have more information about the other webinars, please take a look at our uh, multi group website. So I would like to forward you to that. Um, our other partners are TUAS, which is the, the Hague University of Applied Sciences that is also stationed in the Netherlands. Um, and is also the coordinator of this uh, project. And of course, um, a Knowledge Innovation Center in Malta, Kinderburo uh, Vienna, Di Scola in Italy, and Malmo University in Sweden are partners as well. So this is a little bit about the context of uh, the Milton Clude project and who we are as ECHO. So in this process of the, uh, the um, Milton Clute project, ECHO is actually responsible for the analysis of the 70 cases, which will be published on the Milton Clute website at the end of the summer period. Uh, so if you want to know more about that, uh, please take a look at the website and, um, at a later time. In this webinar, we chose to present cases of curriculum development and inclusive pedagogy. Uh, also because we see that in the context of higher education, this is um, very important for many of our partners and professionals. It's interesting to start looking at how grassroots initiatives can actually be implemented within a policy framework that is embedded within the institution. And that is also what we will do today and what we will be discussing today, how those things can be um, um, yeah, correspond with each other. So with regards to the process of the webinar, uh, we will start with a small presentation of uh, 15 to 20 minutes um, when, and, and after that there is room for one or two questions. Then we will do the same for the next two presentations of 15 minutes each um, and end the webinar with a longer Q&A and discussion. Um, in the end, I will wrap it up and say something about the next Milton Glute webinar that will be hosted by two us. Um, so, yeah, let's start. We are very honored uh, to host and welcome three key experts within this field of expertise. So please let me introduce to you Professor Frank Tewitt from Denver University, Dr. Saran Stewart and Dr. Nikisha Stevenson, both from the University of the West Indies. Um, I hope that Saran um, is able to 
join and I see her waving. So that's great. Thank you for being here, Seren.